It's one of the only places in the country you can see them in the wild. Now the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley is making efforts to protect red crown parrots. As Local 23 News continues its commitment to highlight the work by university journalism students, UTRGV TV's Nathaniel Puente reports. The UTRGV Brownsville campus is home to an abundance of wildlife. With the amount of birds, lizards, and insects roaming around, you might think you are in a wildlife sanctuary rather than a university. To preserve this ecological image, UTRGV has committed efforts to provide nests for red-crowned parrots, an endangered bird native to the Rio Grande Valley in northeastern Mexico. Yeah, I'm just really excited to, to have the birds breeding here on, on campus. I think it's a, an extremely unique opportunity to sort of involve uh, students as well as, uh, as local community members. Dr. Carl Berg specializes in ornithology and spearheaded the project to build the nesting tubes around campus. He says red-crowned parrots have been endangered for decades. Since the early 90s, we, we knew they were in a lot of trouble. The reason has to do with their original distribution was, was very small to begin with. So there's been a lot of habitat destruction in their, in their native habitat. Uh, the illegal pet trade has also, you know, not helped the scenarios. The birds' habitation around the Rio Grande raises questions about the border wall's effect on them. Some organisms are threatened by the barrier, but Dr. Berg says it should not be an issue. You know, as far as I can see, I, it, it wouldn't necessarily prevent them from crossing over in, into Mexico. Uh, not in the same way it would a coyote or a, or a deer or something terrestrial, right? I mean, they, they're, they're high flyers, right? The number of red-crowned parrots left in the wild is around 2,000. Projects like these at UTRGV ensure that the city bird of Brownsville can continue to fly high. Reporting for UTRGV-TV from Brownsville, I'm Daniel Pellett.